The son of the Most High was riding on a donkey and the crowd was screaming, Hosanna. And you ask them, okay, in Hebrew, what does Hosanna mean? They're not quite sure. That's because the crowd was really screaming, Nkosana, Nkosana. Little king. The whole Bible is Bantu culture, placed the rise to see. They stole Bantu scrolls and they called them dead sea scrolls. As they were plagiarizing, they did not have permission to change everything. That's why there are breadcrumbs for the resurrection of the Bantu. And who are they? They know who they are. So let's go in review before we go deeper. Remember the father wrote on the wall, Mene mene tekelu panzile, the sons speak, Eli eli la masabatan. But they direct you and they say, uh, this means, why have you forsaken me? But he said he will never leave me nor forsake me. Don't listen to them when they school you. The son was born in Bethlehem, South Africa, raised in Nazareth, South Africa. It is a Bantu story. So he's speaking Bantu. Even when he was healing the blind man, e papata, to papata is to feel around, e papata. You see, it's Bantu. Remember when he was resurrecting the little girl? See, the little girl did not have enough life force to sustain her inhabitants in her body. So the, the son said, Talita kum, take life force from me. Talita kum, take it from me. Bantu culture. So the crowd is screaming, Nkosana, Nkosana, which can mean prince. It's little king, you see. He, they were, they knew who he was. They saw his glory coming, manifesting. So even Abba, Abba does not mean father. That's why it, after Abba, there's a comma and then there's father. He was praying for his disciples and he was saying, Abba, Bao, for these, a father, you know? So, as they were destroying the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, they made sure that the temple of the Bantu Jerusalem is no more. And then they began plagiarizing the culture of the Bantu. They made sure that they now start moving biblical locations to the fake land, taking Bantu scrolls, turning them into a Bible. That's why when apartheid began in South Africa, 1948, that's around about the same time Israel was founded. Hmm. Visit my sister's channel, Johnny John.